What's the problem, Pam? I have tried to be nice to this girl, but you know by now she should have come over here to Brooklyn to meet me. You will not believe it. She sent me a text message. A text message talking about she want me to bring some baby pictures of Jason so she can put them in the wedding program. She treat me like I'm her secretary, not the mother-in-law to be. I'm Sharice Nicole with Real Black TV, and today we are with Pooch Hall and Miss Tasha Smith. What's that? How hey. are you? <laughs> oh, great. Good. Oh, my we are gosh. great. This is going to be so much fun. I already know. Mm. Yes. Already know. Yes, girl. Yes. Get ready. Mm -hmm. so tell me a little bit about your characters. Well, my yeah. character gets a chance to just fall in love with young Romeo Miller, <laughs> all right? Which I think is just fantastic. And it's done so subtle and, mm -hmm. and wonderful. Like, I'm really there to be a support system to the family. And then guess what? My character finds love and gets a chance to enjoy Martha's Vineyard and have a phenomenal time and keep Loretta's behind in check out because she is out of control in this film. People are going to absolutely love her. All right. Mm -hmm. What about yeah. you, Pooch? I play Ricky, um, the best friend uh, to Laz Alonzo, his, his, his best man. And, um, you know, it's just one of these things where, you know, I can be a part of this movie and a part of this cast and, and, and give him my all, you know, going in 110%. And, uh, and, and to make sure that, you know, uh, my friend, you know, my buddy, my frat brother, my, my friend, my, my, my coworker, knows that he has somebody who is on the same page as him as far as, like, what it is that he has found. And he has found love with Sabrina. Right. And that, you know, at first he's like, well, I'm not really sure. You can see the doubt at first in the sense where Sabrina got upset because he wasn't defending her towards his mom mm -hmm. or keeping his mom off. And then, you know, he's being attacked by his, uh, his cousin as far as like, you know, she's an uppity chick. Mm -hmm. So it's just me to be um, a, a friend and, you know, and just reinforce what it is that uh, he's found. Okay, first of all, neither one of you guys understand. All right, this man's about to get married. I don't understand. Neither one of you okay, guys. Okay, Jason, forget all this. You need to go get Sabrina and squash all this. I'm Jason, serious. don't listen to nobody to say words like squash. All right, you get squash all this. We don't talk like that. You don't even know Sabrina. I know Sabrina. And I know Jason. Jason, go get your girl, man. Jason, get your manhood. It's real people. And, and this film is simple in, this, in the sense where it's real people with real issues. I want everyone to go out and see this film. It's a great movie with beautiful black actors that's t telling a story from everyone's perspective. Right. Right. Now, in this movie, like you said, you keep Loretta Devine in check. You mm -hmm. kind of give her advice. Is that the role you play in life? I know you're friends with Tyra mm -hmm. and Miss Tisha Campbell Martin, mm -hmm. and you have a twin sister. So I do. Do you, I do you do. keep everybody in I line? I think a that bit? I'm the friend. You know, I put. I, I look. Iron sharpens iron. So mm -hmm. as much as I may be the friend that listens, that gives honest communication and puts them in check every mm -hmm. once in a while, I need that friend for me too. <laughs> you follow what I'm saying? So yes. I definitely get it back. Mm -hmm. And I think that's what real friendship is. Mm -hmm. When you're able to be honest and clear mm -hmm. and you can communicate honestly mm -hmm. and accept advice and criticism and, and change and grow, I just think that's what it's about. And those are the kind of friends I like to have. Oh, she got Jason's nose all open. Tell me she's gonna take him to China. China! My Jason don't like nothing sweet and sour. This girl needs to have a little more respect for me. Why are your panties all in the wide when didn't you tell me that Jason hadn't met her family either? How for whose side you on? You put it out there, Tosh. I mean, you know, she's a she's a, a wife, a teacher, um, a student, a friend. Um, a support system, uh -huh. no, but seriously, it's one of these things where it's like it makes sense to see the people in the roles that they are that they're in on this film because we've all come together in a sense. Some of us knew each other before the film came together, but to be able to say, "Hey, Tosh, I'm having trouble with this. Can you help me with this?" Mm -hmm. Or, or, or Megan, you know, can you help me with this? Or, or, or Pooch, or Romeo, or Laz, Paula, you know, and and. and even though Paul and Laz, like they had a, a, a bl the blunt of, of the, the workload, they still made themselves accessible and like, hey, if you need anything, let me know. Yeah. You know, and that's the type of chemistry and relationships that we had off the film. It's true. Right. You know, off, off, you know, when we weren't shooting. 
Right, and you got to work with Salim and Mark. Who was yeah. fantastic. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Like, Salim mm-hmm. was one of the reasons why I first said yes. I just said, hey, I don't care what, what part I'm going to play in this thing, mm-hmm. but I'm down. Mm-hmm. Right. You know, he's amazing, and you see his sensibility, his his intelligence, his class, and everything in the way he directed this movie. This is our awesome director. He's absolutely incredible. Say hi to him. Hello, how are you? I want to thank this man right here for giving me this job. <laughs> it's great. It's crazy. <laughs> He's a visionary, and um, Tosh and I both have, you know, worked with him in the past. Mm-hmm. Um, you on the game. Me on the game. Yeah. Tosh has worked on the game mm-hmm. with us. Yeah. Um, you know, and he's a person that, you know, as far as, like, this film was concerned, he got it. Right. And said, you know, I'm going to make sure that we tell a film that everyone can relate to. It's going to have a little bit of everything, but enough that, you know, people uh, can take away from something or if they're, you know, have questions about their life or certain things that they're going through, to be able to see a family member or someone in here that that they can relate to and say, okay, I get it. So, you know, it's really important that people go out and uh, support and see this film. Jumping the Broom. It is like the old, black, and beautiful here. Directed by Salima Keel.